I got involved in um, the center here on November 4th after church. I'm a member of this church. And uh, the, our pastor, Pastor Jeff Wells, had said that he had decided that um, we would uh, work hand-in-hand oh, hand with Encore and we would reach some homeowners in our local area. So since then, I've been working here every day and we've established, this used to be the pastor's office, and we've established a command post here and we have many volunteers that come in throughout the day to be in the office and um, we have the volunteers, they check in every morning and we have homeowners that call every day and we have a system going that works pretty well and we take an initial intake and get a feel for what the homeowners need is and we've been sending out crews to do cleanup, demolition of the room, sheetrock removal, floor removal, uh, debris removal, there's a, a bulletin board of things we do over there and um, we had the volunteers come in on a daily basis. We're open seven days a week from eight to five. So that's a quick summary. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, how's it going at this point? Um, I have nothing to, to measure it against, but I think we're doing very well. We just had some numbers compiled for a report, and I think we've reached, we've had 172 calls. And I would say over half of them we've Thank already, so much, what we consider completed. So, and then the rest of them are ongoing or pending. Okay. Um, on the weekends, of course, we have the majority of volunteers come in. Um, we could have 20 to 30 volunteers on any Saturday or Sunday. And during the week, it's uh, much, much slower, but we do get volunteers not just from the conference, um, from different affiliations, from the fire department, from the colleges. The response has been amazing. I'm, I'm very pleased to see that, that people are willing to go out of their way. Well, we're servicing an area from um, Lindenhurst on the South Shore, um, Copeg, Amityville, Massapequa, Wantour, Seaford, Belmore. And most of those homes that are affected, is the majority is flood damage. Um, we've had water reported as far as uh, high as five feet. Um, they have had to remove the sheetrock down to the studs. They've taken the hardwood floors. They've t torn up carpets. Sometimes they've had to take ceramic tile up because the subfloor was really, really soaked. Um, and getting the home in a safe and secure and a sanitary um, condition is the most important thing for us right now. But we also try to remember to give the homeowners hope. So when we walk in the door, we listen to their stories and their situation, and we try to deal with their personal um, stories as well. Had teams um, from different United Methodist churches come from Ohio. They've given more than a week of their time. Currently, we have a volunteer from Ohio for us. He's been here since Sunday. We've had a fire department uh, sent a crew from Massachusetts. We had a family come up from Maryland. We've had people come from Pennsylvania. Um, oh, we've had. Um, Supply sent in as far as Missouri. They've sent hats. As one lady knitted like six cartons full of hats and for our workers and our volunteers. Um, we've, uh, next week, uh, Clemson College from South Carolina is sending up 30 people. Um, the local colleges are great. We've had a lacrosse team from Dowling College has come through two or three days. And Hofstra University has come. Upstate New York has sent Marist students. So the response is, is all over, and um, people I've met are wonderful. Everybody really does more than you know, I expected them to do. It's amazing.